Coming up today on Houston Life, mark your calendars for Sunday's National Ice Cream Day. We've got the scoop on where you can score deals and even get free ice cream. Plus, looking for an inspiration to spruce up your kid's bedroom, how brand new flooring can help make a dramatic upgrade, and it can all happen in just one day. Then, from family events to the live concert, rapper Trey the Truth shares the big surprises in store for this year's Trey Day celebration. And the story behind a new restaurant concept that was born out of an at-home dinners during the pandemic. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life on this Thursday, July 15th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. It's also known as Friday Eve today. Good we stuff. love Friday Eve. This week went by like that. Maybe it's all this rain. Oh my gosh, the rain is crazy. We were just talking about, you know, this morning it was sunny. We were sitting up in our offices having a meeting and this like booming of thunder is coming around. That so, was just my stomach growling. Oh, that's right. No, but you did eat, you <laughs> ate your salad. Listen, we reached out to meteorologist Frank Billingsley because I was like, I remember AJ's birthday party when he had, uh, went paintballing and it was a, it was just raining. And I feel like it hasn't stopped since then, since July, uh, since May. Um, if you count traces, this is coming from Frank, we've had 25 days 25 of solid days of rain. rain. That's almost a full month. And it is true because, like, the day can start and it's beautiful and then suddenly your street's flooding. It's crazy. We're so over it. Well, it's okay. We, it's better than being in a drought, right? I mean, so it many is, parts yeah. of this country are in full drought and the, and the fires. So I'm glad that we live in Houston where we don't have to worry about that. Absolutely. But this is your public ser service announcement, your reminder. Now is the time to stock up on water and supplies, not when a hurricane is coming. Because we're only six weeks into hurricane season. I know. So it's a long stock season. Stock those pantries. And clean those storm drains, you know? Don't push all your lawn clippings in there. That's a disaster. You know, that's a very good point. Yes. You're right. No flooded streets. None. <laughs> Or sometimes get a little bit cross. Hey, so big news, folks. Did you hear the news about Joseph Maldonado Passage? Who's that? Also known as Tiger King. I know his real name. It, <laughs> you knew his real name? Uh, I actually, no, I didn't. So he's Just back in the, in the headlines. <laughs> <laughs> so because of the court proceedings, uh, if, you, if you saw the documentary, if you remember the story, so it was January of 2020, he was convicted of trying to hire two different guys to kill animal rights activist Carol Baskin. So a, a court now is saying that maybe the sentence of 22 years might be shortened a bit. So stay tuned for that. But they're saying that perhaps it could be 17. There are some theories floating right. around. Um, but I don't know. It's, uh, I guess it's good news for him. For him, and I mean, he really got us through that first bulk of the of the pandemic. Of the pandemic. Well, what was remarkable is uh, maybe y'all saw this when Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic they actually premiered their uh, one of their music videos. Very popular, right here World on Houston Life. World premiere. Yeah, that was a while back. Remember last year? Yeah, he he even appeared. Joe Exotic himself appeared uh, from jail, from prison. Made Look, time for our show. Great hair, great hair. He does have good hair. You know, in that music video wildly popular the tune is fabulous it just it's a song that just keeps on giving we play it all day and all night interesting too i mean there were rumors that joe exotic um just lip syncs all that no but i can tell you i have inside information he's a really really good singer so the the man behind joe exotic and remember here's carol on her fabulous bike Carol's uh, never looked better right look at that great. hair flower crown fab so him, they're now divorced right yeah, I think so. You know, there was a lot of relationship uh, drama, and I think uh, Joe's ex-husband actually now married a woman. Yes, and ha has totally different teeth. Yeah. Um, but listen, if this is bringing back some Joe Exotic memories and feels, and you know, you just can't get enough, and you're Man, feeling good looking. like, wow, you know, you want to be part of it. It's she a is lot. too. She is. There's a lot of leopard. Not there's sure where it starts or where it ends. What leopard? Yeah, it's 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 a neutral. Oh. <laughs> But listen, if you are thinking, I am tired of being single, I feel like Joe Exotic is my man and he's the one that I need to be with, you can sign up. You can fill out an online application. To do what? To be his next husband. 
Is this yes, real? Bachelor King application. So it's all the, you know, the formalities, name, email, phone number. Um, He's organizing this Are you prison? out, height, weight. Are you out? Um, where do you live? There's also some very pertinent information here that he's looking at. Shoe size, waist size, eye color. Do you like the ocean? That's just a yes or no question. Um, and then at the end of said application that you can fill this out online, you upload a full dress photo. A and full dress photo. Yeah, maybe. so maybe like in your Sunday best or, you know, fully dressed. Oh, like dressed up. Fully dressed. Right. That could have many meanings. And then don't get nervous. Don't get worried. There is a swimsuit photo upload. And then there's a shirtless photo upload. You're totally for real about I this? I am totes for real. Right here. Three of them. Wow. And then just below those three uploads is the submit button. But before, and then you can just, you know, what is your opinion of marriage? What does it mean to you? Explain to Joe why he would fall in love with you. How does this work, though? So if he's in prison for another 17 years, another two decades... People get married in prison. Yeah. Fall oh. in love. So just like a long-distance relationship. Yeah, yeah. But you could be the next husband. I or could. Joe Exotic. Could be. Not necessarily you, the collective you. 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 Go check it out. The, the online app. This seems like a legit way to find love. Every, I'm just yeah, saying. It really does. Right? Sounds well, good. I still recommend uh, the documentary. Uh, people, documentary is unbelievable. We had some people who were very concerned that we even mentioned the documentary on the show. But here's the thing. More tigers are privately held as yes. pets illegally in the United States than there are in all of Asia. And so, so many people, I feel like this really put the spotlight on the fact that so many of these animals, we had that tiger get loose here in Houston. Right here. Yeah. Couldn't find it. Yeah, so it's worth, I think, watching because, you know, people need to know. Information, knowledge is power. Absolutely. And let us know if you apply to be his next husband. Do you remember, oh, sorry. What no, we please say? go. No, you. No, go. No, you. I was going to move on. You remember what? Well, so Nicolas Cage was actually cast. I know. Amazon was going to do this, like, biopic right. about Tiger but King. And Nicolas Cage, I always thought, I don't know, Nicolas Cage, he's sort You know what I mean? What do you mean? I just couldn't... Do we have his photo? Because there's a headshot photo. Do, do we have that? Oh. I just feel like Nicolas Cage. He's I, like... Every film he's in, there's just always that same deliver... <laughs> I didn't see him as Joe Exotic. Well, good news. It's been scrapped. It's not happening. Amazon David says, Spade will always be the... Uh, David Spade, I could see that. Because originally, when I first saw that... Reminds I me of Joe it, Dirt. Yes, but when I first saw the thing for the ad for Tiger King, which it was the real Tiger King, I thought it was David Spade. Like, I thought it was a spoof. I didn't realize it was an actual real story. Oh, it's a real person, yes. Yeah. Yes, so, Joseph Maldonado Passage. Also known as? Tiger King. Yeah. Tiger King definitely sounds... It just fits better. It sounds more better. fancy. Mm -hmm, sure. um, listen, and speaking of fancy and feeling better, we are feeling so good for Britney Spears. Oh, Right? I mean, I feel like I just want to get in a bus and a train or whatever and go, go to L.A. and get her, myself, bring her here. Um, but yesterday, you know, she was granted the right to hire her own attorney. Which is, a, yeah, a big that deal. That is a big deal. If you guys are following, of course, the Britney Spears saga with her, um, with her father and this legal, she has a conservatorship over her. Um, she posted a video on Instagram. Did you see it? The cartwheels? The cartwheels. I love it so much. And in a caption, she thanks her fans and uses hashtag free Britney. There she is right there. And you know, here's the thing. I feel like you do not need to be a Britney Spears fan to really care about what's going on here. Because right. we were chatting. It must be so heartbreaking. She's essentially begging her father to regain control of her own life. And her father is saying, well, I'm her father. I know what's best for her. She's a 39-year-old woman. And I think she needs to be given the chance to live her own life the way she chooses. Similarly, I mean, I've had friends, people in my life whose parents put a ton of pressure on them. You're going to go to this school. You're going to be a doctor, a lawyer. You're going to do this and that. And I think parents have perhaps the best intentions at heart. I don't believe Britney's dad has the best of intentions. Right. He's gotten rich by doing this, right? But I think it's just sort of tragic that whether you're a fan or not, she has been a prisoner in her own life. How in bizarre. her own life, yeah. And if you haven't seen the documentary, Free Britney, you should. It's eye-opening. It's disturbing. She was just a little girl when she was, you know, up and coming and became this uber star. Um, and to not, you know, she also had a very public breakdown when breakdowns weren't very public. 
and you know shaving of the head and hitting the paparazzi with the umbrella and all of these things that she went through yeah. imagine what you go through on a daily basis but living that through the lives of strangers and cameras in your face 24 7. Um, so instead of someone helping her get the help she needed at that time it was just paraded and no one ever helped her and she's been begging for help and begging to carry on with her life meanwhile still making tons of money and working so making tons of money she has for other people for other people she yeah. is paying her father's legal team which is mind-blowing to me well and i think at some point her father jamie is it just doesn't it's not a good look dad it's not you know it, you should sort of say like hey i'm stepping aside so my daughter can pursue what she believes is going to make her happy living love her me own life love me some brit brit Free Britney, and I love the cartwheels. Keep them coming, girl. We hope I it's know. more victories. It's, hopefully, along that's the way. a good sign. Hopefully, that was the turning point now that she has her own lawyer. I hope so. Love her. All right, still to come, guys. From walking on the right side of the aisle at the store to re racking the weights at the gym, we're talking about the unwritten rules of life. No more adults behaving badly. <laughs> huh? Plus, Lauren Kelly is getting a first look at a brand new intimate dining experience in City Center. Hey, Lauren. That's right, you guys. Reiki Na has its first opening night tonight in City Center. It's magnificent. I can't wait to break down this menu for you guys. That and more is coming up when Houston Life returns. What you know about me? Just let the people say. Welcome back to Houston Live. Dara Courtney and Tex here hanging out with you. Tex is enjoying some belly rubs. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Can I tell a quick story? Of so course. today Alex Bregman's wife, Reagan, who you're friends with, yes. she was here at KPRC today out in the lobby, and Tex out there chatting. Tex walks right up to her, flat on his back, and waits for the belly rub. Yeah. He really is an equal opportunity. Belly. Puppy scratch receiver. There you go. You know Perfect. what I mean. Okay, so one of the themes of this show, we love to talk about adults behaving badly. And online, we were scouring through on BuzzFeed the unwritten rules of life. You know the rules like when you're on an elevator, what happens when the doors open and people are on need to get off? You, you wait for them to get off before boarding. Exit so, first. Yeah. Or if you borrow something, maybe you, return I don't know, return it. it? <laughs> so there are so many things. Do you find that, especially as you get older, you're just sort of like stupefied by some adult's behavior out there? You know what I cannot, st you know when you're walking in a hallway or even just walking and you see a person coming and the other person looks away or looks, it's super obvious and you're like, I, I'm not asking for a conversation. Just make eye contact, acknowledge and move yeah, on. And say hello. Yeah, it's the same like out in the neighborhood. If I'm out on the trail, I like to, you know, you make eye contact and you just sort of say hello. You know, recently I was at the grocery store and it was a Saturday morning. The store was kind of empty, right? Nobody was really around. And I was looking at the iced coffee section because, you know, these days, iced coffee, there are a million options. A bunch. Oat milk and this and that, sweetened, unsweetened. Oh, wow, that's 4,000 calories. I'm just going to go with this one. So as I'm looking through, it was probably like 10 seconds. This woman is like, <clears throat> take your time, take your time. And I said, oh, oh, wow. I didn't realize you were there. I didn't realize you were ready. If you're in a rush, like, go ahead. So she then came, and she really took her time. In the oh, case. oh, really? Yeah, to sort of show me a lesson. And I thought, wow, I, I truly just didn't know you were there, ma'am. And by the way, if you were there first, right? So she had an assistant shopping with her. Oh, so well, I'm surprised she was actually out at all. Let's bring in Joe Sam now with our question of the day. All right, Joe. Yeah, Derek, don't play with that woman again. She was <laughs> not for play play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we want to hear from you guys. What's an unwritten rule you refuse to follow? And we already have some great answers coming in. Let's see what Jessica has to say. She put, I may or may not walk the buggy back after use. Depends on how <gasps> far away it is. Uh... <laughs> Jessica. Yeah, that's a bad one there. And here goes Andrea. She writes in, wait 30 minutes after eating to get back into the swimming pool. Who thought that up? Yeah, I, I, I don't do swimming pools. Courtney, you know this already. I do know so. that about <laughs> And Tara, she writes in, read my email. I have over 350,000 unread. Isn't there a certain capacity that you have in your email to where it just stops coming? Well, you know what? We want you guys to head over to our Houston Life Facebook page and join the conversation. We'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show. Courtney and Derek, what do you guys have to give? Those were all really great. I think our <laughs> viewers always have really great comments, and I'm going to go with 
with that last one because I'm horrible at voicemails. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to them. <laughs> don't ever. Oh, my voicemail has been full for years. Oh. Mine's been since like 2000. It, Haven't listened to a voicemail. <laughs> yeah, but also I believe that just because someone messages you doesn't mean you need to drop everything mm -hmm. and no. write them back. There it is. I know there's one. There's like respect your elders. I don't know if it's written or unwritten, but there's a lot of mean older people out there, and I feel like, you know, respect is given whenever it's due. Take your yes. time. You, you, right. Yeah. So I don't care if you're 60 years old. If you're mean to me, I'm going to have to be mean right back. Right. I, just, I hear it you. It is what it is. I also like a good please and thank you. There you that go. That would be nice. It goes a yeah. long way. Simple words. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. See, I, I'm not mean to people back like that woman. I, I'm just more stunned. Like, when someone is that blatantly rude, it always gives me just a bit of pause. Like, oh, wow. That's because I believe. And it's just your world, I guess, right? <laughs> Nobody I, else is. You know, not if you're happy in your life, though, why right. would you ever treat someone unkindly? She had it out for you. That's all it was. Yeah, she was having a bad day because <laughs> her assistant dragged her to the grocery store. It literally was. I mean, who takes their assistant to the grocery store? Mm. She does. I don't have an assistant. <laughs> She's going to be watching. She's going to come after you, Derek. She's just going to know that you're talking it's all about. Good. So. It's all good. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Absolutely. Well, the new restaurant concept, Rakina, opens today in City Center, combining food, art, music, and design from chef Thomas Stacy. It sounds pretty cool. Lauren Kelly is there this afternoon getting a sneak peek of their new eight-course tasting menu. Lauren, I hope you brought your appetite. You guys, this is so awesome. I'm so excited to introduce you to Rekina. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And if I'm not, I've got the man behind the entire concept. Chef Thomas Stacy, come on over and join us. Congratulations on this beautiful new place. City Center, what a great location. Pronounce the name for our viewers. Uh, it's pronounced Rekina. Rekina. I almost had it correct. <laughs> now tell everybody where the concept came from. Um, so Rekina is a word that means divine snacks. Uh, it comes from two different words, Sakana and Reiki. Sakana would mean a snack to pair with sake, and Reiki means divine energy. So during the pandemic, I served a tasting menu dinner in my home for friends, and during a time when we were being driven apart, it was nice to uh, have a sense of community. And I love the video that we're seeing now. It just shows like how important human connection just when you're away from all those people, even if it's just dinner at your house. I mean, how special and important that is, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm taking a look around this beautiful place and it's fantastic from the artist, the local artist with the art on the walls. You've got the vinyl record collection that is of your own that people will be listening to as they eat. And Absolutely. this table, tell us about the table behind us. The table I made out of 200 year old white oak barn siding. Um, I made it at a wood shop near my house with my neighbor. So you cook and you decorate and you design. I don't even know what you're not good at first because it seems like you're pretty much good at everything. This is just a magnificent table. As of right now, restaurant is holding 20 people at a time for a seating and, and today is the opening day. So are you excited to get the menu out there? I'm so excited. People keep asking if I'm nervous and I just keep saying no. I'm, I'm relieved that it's finally Happening. Yeah, it's really, really great. And once everything does get open, there will be two seatings that people can enjoy. Just Correct. make sure you book ahead because it's going to fill up so quick. It's such a cozy place. You have to come. It's more of an intimate feel, right? Despite the fact that it's such a large space, it's 3,500 square feet. We're trying to recreate the sense of being in someone's house. And from the feedback, we've really done that. So. Well, the lamps, the art, the vinyls, and the piano over there, you guys. Coming up, you don't want to miss this. Chef is going to show us some of that eight course menu and we're going to get into play on those keys in a little bit if you will do us the favor of giving us some music <laughs> yes <laughs> all right derek and courtney i've got much more exploring to do here back to you guys in the studio B. can't wait for the next hit thanks lauren yeah you know we spotted that piano right away when we come back are you thinking of giving the kids room a little makeover before school is back in session we are talking best flooring options for any age and any house and houston rapper trey the truth shares how he's continuing to give back to the city following his recent win of the Billboard Changemaker Award. Houston Life will be right back. New flooring can really enhance the look of a room, and when it comes to a child's bedroom, durability and safety are especially important. So if you're thinking of making that flooring upgrade, a company called 50 Floor has tips on what to consider for your home. 
Maria, welcome back to Houston Life. It's great to see you. Thank you, Derek. Likewise. Summertime is the time when a lot of people jump into home projects, right? And if redoing the kids' room or the baby's room is on your list, uh, you have some ideas for us and yes. things we should all keep in mind. Exactly. I mean, Derek, it really depends on are you going to have a baby and is that your first kid room that you're going to do or are you more into the toddler or teenage years? So all of this that we say, just kind of take into perspective. It really depends on what child you have. So that's number one is comfort for that baby or for that teen is very different. But whether you think about it now or maybe 30 years ago, a lot of people think bedroom must be carpet. And of course that's not true. It doesn't have to be. A lot of people opt for an upscale vinyl or an engineered wood and then they just use the area rugs. So that really depends, right, on, on, on personal choice. But comfort is number one. Number two is low maintenance. So of course that's why we also tend to go to those laminates or to the upscale vinyls because those are extremely easy to maintain and to keep clean. And then number three, sometimes people really want to consider health aspects, so allergens, really being trapped into the carpet or, or into the rug. But most people, again, really are going more towards just area rugs. But hey, if you want those carpets, like we were talking about, our mom, our mother-in-law, they prefer carpet. That's okay. We also have that for you. It's interesting how things like come and go. And my grandmother, she had hardwood floors all uh, through her home. Okay. But back in the 50s, everyone wanted wall-to-wall -wall carpet, right? That's true. And suddenly, overnight, those hardwood floors were covered. So trends come and go. But as yes. you said, it's all about your personal style and exactly. what you want in your home. Uh, let's talk about kid proofing and like kid factors, right? Yes. Because if there's muddy soccer cleats or, you know, <laughs> all, yes. all kinds of spills happening in the kids' room, it right. seems to me that an advantage of having a hard surface is that you wipe it up and it's like the mess never happened. Exactly, and you know, these really have what we call a uniclick system. So they really are locked in very tightly together. So even if you have to mop something up or it, even if you have a spill, milk or water, it's not gonna go in between the cracks as easily as it used to, let's say 10, 15 years ago. So technology has come a long way and that's why these uh, kind of faux options, wood looking Tyler, or, or even uh, these laminates that we talk about, these are really popular right now because they're so low maintenance and easy to use with kids. I wish our viewers could just reach out and touch these because right? all the samples you brought today when it comes to the either the the engineered wood or the hardwood or the vinyl, they right. all have a textured wood. Yes. Uh, they feel really good. They but that's, do. They can feel them because you can bring them to their home, right? Exactly. And you know, some people still like that smooth, more matte finish. Some people still like the glossy kind of uh, feel or finish. So what we are going to do is talk to you about about your lifestyle, as we were saying, for that kid room or for whatever room you want to do. And then uh, I'll show you all of our options. And like you say, Derek, you can really feel them and go, well, wait a minute, I hadn't thought of this one or that one looks fantastic against my decor. And that's why it's really beneficial to have all of these samples right there in your home. Yeah, you can see it, you can feel it. Uh, we're out of time, but tell us quickly about okay. the financing you offer. Yes, we offer 12 month interest-free financing financing as long as, of course, the balance is paid off within the terms of the agreement, so you cannot go wrong. We are going to make it easy for you and work within your budget. They'll even come in and move your furniture and do it all <laughs> in one day. It's incredible. Yes. Maria, it's great to see you. Thanks, Thanks. so much. Likewise. And 50 Floor has a special offer for Houston Life viewers. Call within the next hour and receive free installation. You can also use the promo code Houston Life to get an extra $100 off your order. Call 877-50-FLOOR. That's 877-503-5667. Or visit 50floor.com. Now let's check in with Joe Sam, who has the scoop on a very special day coming up on Sunday. Hey, Joe. Hey, Derek. Yeah, coming up, I'll tell you where you can go to get a free scoop of unique but tasty ice cream to celebrate the sweet day. And we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4. Peace and Life is back in two minutes. Uh, welcome back. It's 3.30. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Friday Eve. And I have to tell you, today's question of the day has got you all talking. Yeah, it even got text to lift his head up <laughs> off the desk. Earlier in today's show, we asked you, what is an unwritten rule you refuse to follow? Meredith writes in, stop signs? 
If it has a white outer line, it's optional. Oh, yeah, those are optional. Yeah, note to everyone in Houston, <laughs> stay away from Merida. <laughs> Renee writes in, no white after Labor Day. That shouldn't apply to Texas or the South. It's still hot here. I'm with you, oh, Renee. Yeah. I wear white all the time. Yeah, same, same. And Nan writes in, do not swipe left or right if someone shows you a photo on their phone. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> you know what? That's true. It is true. Why would you swipe through someone else's photos? I know, too? don't do it. Don't do it. Uh-uh. Yeah. Here's the other one that I saw the other day when I was stuck in traffic. There's always one. There's always one. One in the group, right? Oh, I know what you're gonna say. The person that drives on the shoulder with their hazards on because they're too good for traffic? <laughs> Can't stand them. There's been three of y'all this week. Bad karma. Three. Bad karma. Mm -hmm. I see you and your Escalade. I saw you. Uh huh. When everybody's waiting because you just have to get to something. Anyway. Maybe their kidney came up on the list and they're Pretty next sure. to mine. Pretty sure. Okay, let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what they have coming up at 4. Frank, I hope it's not more rain. 25 ah, days? Ah, don't follow those rules. Which ones? Which the ones? ones? <laughs> what? <laughs> about them? more rain. Any of them. Oh. <laughs> um, you know what? We're going to see a little more, I'm afraid. Did you have any unwritten rules you don't follow? Um, I, I have enough trouble following the written rules. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you just uh, don't. That is true. You know, not, you're not supposed to wear sunglasses inside, or I, you know, no, that's true. or if umbrellas. What do they cool say? Enough. A sun never sets on a. Well, if you're if you you're know. cool enough, you can pull it off. I'm just saying. Nobody's cool enough to wear sunglasses inside. <laughs> oh, dear. You're raining on my parade. Oh, my gosh. We've had enough rain recently. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, well, let's say, you know what? It, it actually is not as, as uh, heavy rain and not as widespread as it has been. So there's a look outside right now. And you can see a lot of fairly quiet sky with temperatures in the upper 80s. 87 is a popular number. 90 in Galveston. Here's a look at the big radar. High pressure is moved a little bit more in to, uh, toward us. And so consequently, we don't really have that flow coming right off the Gulf like we've seen. That sea breeze that's been pushing through. We have more of this southerly flow, and therefore it's not quite as strong with the sea breeze. There have been some showers, certainly, but you can see not nearly as much. In fact, the rain amounts coming right up the uh, Gulf Freeway right now, or I should say 45 north, that is uh, really just been about a half an inch to an inch and a half out toward Magnolia. So that's where we found some of the heaviest rains. And we're going to continue to see these move off to the north fairly quickly. By the time we get to seven, it's pretty much all out of here. And certainly as we get into the later evening hours, things really quiet down pretty quickly. And in fact, I think it's even a little drier than that on Friday. We're going to talk about that and the weekend coming up at 4. Then dust and drought and tropics are all on the plate to talk about as well. So we'll get to that coming up at 4 o'clock. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Frank. We want to give you a look now at some of the other stories that we're covering this afternoon. Millions of American families should have seen extra money in their bank accounts today as child tax credit payments started rolling in. A closer look at how many more payments are scheduled the rest of this year and who's fighting to make those payments permanent. And important news for sunscreen users, Johnson & Johnson recalling five of its products because of a chemical that can cause cancer. Houston's only TV health reporter Haley Hernandez shows you what you need to know to keep yourself as well as your family safe. Plus, you've probably seen the running of the bulls in Spain. Well, this is the running of the goats in the Big Apple. The reason behind <laughs> this uh, rather peculiar tradition. I, I, the goats don't think so because they're, they're going to eat some extra leaves. So That's going to be like us <laughs> running through the streets of Tokyo hopefully in a couple of days. Yeah, we're <laughs> leaving tomorrow, you guys. We're pretty yeah, excited. That's oh. right. In, in mañana. In la mañana. Yeah. It's going to be great. We'll see you at 4 o'clock. Okay. All right, all right, we all scream for ice cream, but we may just scream a little louder when that ice cream is free. Oh, everyone loves free ice cream. Joe Sam checked out two local shops scooping up some unique and tasty flavors ahead of National Ice Cream Day. Hey, Joe. Hey guys, that's right. From salted butter caramel to jalapeno cornbread, Kraft Creamery and Amarino is giving us all a chance to experience flavors you wouldn't expect in the ice cream or gelato. I got a taste of both ahead of National Ice Cream Day to see if they're really something to scream about. We are here at Kraft Creamery. I have the man in charge right now, Steve, to talk about these amazing creams that you have here and some unique ice creams as well. We obviously do chocolate and vanilla, but I also do brisket and pho. <laughs> Hold on, wait, let's rewind that back. Brisket ice cream. Mm -hmm. Where did the idea come from with these unique flavors? Part of it is, so I'm a chef from the savory side of the house, so I don't necessarily look at ice cream as just the sweet. And some of these flavors actually make a lot of sense in an ice cream. So you have to tell me, what is people's first experience when they taste an ice cream like that? For the most part, it knocks them off balance a little bit. <laughs> and their brain goes, OK, it's brisket. I want to chew. It's sweet. It's creamy. But it's brisket. Right. It's really rewarding for people to get it 
for people to understand that when we decided to do this, we didn't want to do what everybody else is doing. Mm. If I was going to do this, I wanted to do it the way we wanted to do it. If you want the cool taste of Paris gelato here in Houston, then Amarino is ready to scoop it up for you. Amarino gelato, the big specialty is the fact that you can get as many flavors as you want in any size. Speaking of size, Amarino is getting a huge social following with their unique floral design. We shape it as a flower on the cones, so you have the experience of the look, the taste, and it makes it amazing. From hazelnut to pistachio, it's promised to chill any palate. So we have a very large selection of flavors, and we are also uh, having a lot of uh, vegan flavors. We, for some people, you know, it's difficult to find a good variety of uh, vegan flavors. And also we have the sorbets that are made with uh, whole foods. That's what we call it in France. Uh, which means that it's not any artificial flavorings or colorings, it's only the fruit that is mixed with the water and sugar, of course. And uh, you also have the chocolate sorbet for the chocolate lovers that are, that are dairy intolerant. So we have, we have for everybody. Natalie says there's nothing better than a good sweet treat, and being able to give that to people is a treat she enjoys every day. Since I was a teenager, I always dreamed of coming to live in America. And my husband uh, is a friend of Cristiano, the, one of the founders. So he kind of made my dream come true by opening the store. We know that customers, when they come in, even if they wait a certain time, when there is a line, they will be satisfied. Looks so good. Now you can try out these flavors yourself on Sunday for National Ice Cream Day. Craft Creamery is giving out free scoops from 11 to 1, and Amarino will also have samples for you to try it all day long. I have more information on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Courtney and Derek, we got some flavors for you guys at the desk there. We have the brisket ice cream that's okay. from Craft Creamery, and then the you said it right, Derek. With it's awesome. Cazio e Pepe. I yes. believe, I don't, my pronunciation is not great, but this sort of tastes like mascarpone cheese. Mm. There's like a hint of a, like a Parmesan and a black pepper. Ooh, oh, interesting. Yeah. It is interesting, it's good. And the, the ice cream is like works of art. So I did, I had chocolate here, so I'm going in for the brisket. Do the brisket, you have to. And tell me what you think. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay, it's like salty and smoky, but with vanilla ice cream. Right. I, if you didn't tell me it was brisket, I would never know. Are there chunks of brisket in it? No. No, it's just the flavor. Mm -hmm. Just the flavor. But it's smoky like a brisket. There you go. Courtney, you have a really great palate. No, you I don't know. That. I don't know. I normally <laughs> don't, but this is really good. This is good, too. And even the basic vanilla is not basic. It's mm -mm. delicious. They step, step it up a notch for both the basic chocolate and vanilla because they're experiencing all of those different flavors. There are both of those shops. You can get a chance to do so with all of those different flavors. They're unique, but they don't want to overdo it. And Right. scare you away from those flavors. And that's why he said he wants to introduce people to all of these new flavors. I love it. Okay. Works of art and beautifully done. Yeah. yeah. Just in time for National Ice Cream Day. Go get Sunday. your free scoops. You get ice cream. You get ice cream. Ooh. Everybody get ice cream. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> all right, coming up on Houston Life, we will be joined by local rapper and Billboard Changemaker Award recipient, Trey the Truth. Find out what you can expect at his Houston concert as part of Trey Day 2021 when Houston Life returns. For nearly two decades, rapper Trey The Truth has been entertaining us with his music, and he's also an activist committed to using his platform to serve his fellow Houstonians. Next weekend, he's going to combine his love of music and philanthropy with Trey Day. The hometown hero joins us now with details. Trey, it's great to see you. I know you're zooming in from the car <laughs> after an <laughs> afternoon of philanthropy. Fill people in what you were doing at the, uh, at the Harris County Jail. Oh yeah, me and my, my partner Roderick Batson, you know, we just we're opening uh ice cream shop called Howdy Homemade Ice Cream. So what we did, we just left the county jail and we surprised all the inmates with free ice cream. That is so fantastic. Uh, and perfect timing since we were just talking about National Ice Cream Day coming up on Sunday. What was their response, these inmates, uh, when they saw you and they found out uh they got a little free gift? Well, I think it was a two for one. I think they were super surprised just to see me. And then they were even more surprised to actually get the ice cream. 
And then third, they were more surprised at how good it was. So, you know. <laughs> It's it was a, a good, it was all around good experience. Absolutely, a win-win. Well, you know, we're on the heels of Trey Day, which former Houston Mayor Bill White named back in 2008, and basically was created as a day to celebrate and honor your role as a civil leader. And I, I couldn't believe it was back in 2008 when your day was named and everything, Trey, that you have done. And what I think is so phenomenal and really fantastic, as big as you are, the rapper, you never forget about where you came from, where you live, and the people in the community. And I think that speaks to your, the, the bigness of your heart. As, as Miss Tina, Miss Tina Knowles, who gave you the award, the Bill, uh, Billboard Changemaker Award, said, he has the heart as big as Texas, and we all agree. Yeah, I, you know, it's just important, man, to, to be able to be there for people. I think coming up, you know, with me being from the streets of Houston, you know, it was times that I felt it was just me against the world. I really didn't have people in my in my corner. Not not necessarily speaking the pants, because you know my mother and them always been there. But you know, just as a young man out there, and I think sometimes when you have people around that can show that they actually care other than just you, it kind of gives you the incentive and the push that you need to know you're not alone. So that's that's mainly my goal with me and Roderick and Ho Howdy Homemade and, of course, the whole Relief Gang team with me and DJ Mr. Rogers. So I just want to, you know, I'm representation of Houston. I can't, I can't say I am Houston and not do everything I can for Houston. It's so great that you haven't forgotten where you came from. So for people who are unfamiliar, first of all, where have you been? You hit the Houston <laughs> rap scene back in the late 90s. Your first solo album was released in 2003. And I think that, you know, even for folks who are not fans of, of rap music, your contributions during Harvey, they were undeniable because this is where, what'd you raise, $1.3 million to help people impacted by Harvey. You've always been there and ready to give back to your community and I think that's additionally reflected in uh, Trey Day because this is really, you've created it this year. It's not just one day, it's an entire weekend for all ages. It's, Tell us about it. So this one's going to be real big because this is going to be the first family fun day event since we've been trapped in due to COVID. So for me, what happens is, you know, I got Trey Day. It was a day for people to celebrate me. But of course, me being me, I wanted to make it a day to celebrate everybody else so i have a full lineup from thursday through sunday um thursday we'll be doing the howdy homemade ice cream ribbon cutting at noon uh, with me and the mayor and roderick and our whole our whole team and staff um and of course you know we have uh i have a place called flipping fun it's a trampoline park i took over the whole facility so also on trade day every child in the city can come jump on take over the building, the trampoline park, the laser tag, the bumper cars, everything free. Then Friday, um, I do Habitat for Humanity. We're going to do the garden and city gas. Then I'm giving away 10 scholarships with James Harden. And then that night I have my Welcome to Houston concert at White Oak Music Hall, which tickets are almost sold out. They, I recommend they get it. I got a whole bunch of surprise guests. Then that Saturday, we'll be at... Um, Aviva Stadium. So that's from three to eight. Took over the whole stadium. It's actually going to be the family fun day slash car show car meet. So on one side, you have a whole car show for all the kids, for them to see cars they've never seen in life. And at the same time, I'm bringing snow, I'm bringing animals, I'm bringing um, carnival rides, I'm bringing, and when I say animals, like kangaroos, I brought giraffes, uh, camels. It's, it's going to be a lot of stuff. And Sunday, we have Celebrity Dodgeball, Me versus Bun B. And then we have Funny by Nature Comedy Show at House of Blues. It's, my itinerary is on my page, but it's a lot going on. <laughs> wow. It's more than enough to take care of the whole city. It is so awesome. And also, you've got the new album, so that coincides, of course, with your show at White Oak Music Hall. And you heard the announcement already. Tickets are almost sold out. Let's talk about the new album. Yeah, 48 hours after, what happens is, you know, from our culture and in Houston and Texas, you know, we came up off a of DJ screw, and one of his most important screw tapes was June 27th. So I put a freestyle tape out around that time. I think it came out the 25th, because most music comes out on Friday. So I put that out, and, um, you know, it's for free download for people just to experience, and, you know, a lot of some of the younger generation to be able to 
understand where we come from, but I blended it with the old school vibe and the new school. So that, and, um, you know, I'm working on my real album right now. So that's going to be some major for the city of Houston when it's time for me to pull, fully promote it. But right now I know it's hurricane season. So, you know, where my focus is at. Absolutely. I sure do. Trey, the truth. It's always great to see you and thanks so much for everything you continue to do for our city. I appreciate y'all. And um, Thursday, everybody's invited to the grand opening. You know, you can come get your official Trey ice cream, Trey funnel cake, or Trey cinnamon world with me and Roderick Besson. So y'all should come check us out. Definitely we will do that at Howdy Homemade Ice Cream in Katy. Can't wait. You got me with those two flavors, Trey. Those are my favorite. I, I love I it. I want your personal opinion once you try it. <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> Thank you, Trey. And for tickets and more information about Trey Day featuring Trey the Truth and friends, check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. What a great guy. It's so good to catch up with him. Love him so much. Now let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who's enjoying an intimate dining experience. Sounds very fancy, Lauren. Oh, oh, it is. You know how fancy we are here at Houston Life. Oh, that's actually not me playing the piano. That's Chef Thomas Stacy. And when we come back, we're taking a look at some of the eight course meal that he's preparing for guests at Ricky Na this evening in City Center. Don't move. Houston Life. We'll be back. City Center is now open as of today and you can come in you've got to make reservations with chef Thomas Stacy who is the mastermind the brains behind this you were a former chef at another favorite Houston restaurant but you've taken your own concept and really built this intimate cozy dining experience with only 20 people per seating and it's so, I know we've been talking about it, it's so emotional because over the pandemic, that's just kind of how it was born. And you just really miss that intimate connection with people and having people over at your house is really how it got started. That's right. I, you know, I thought it was safe to have small groups of people who were really craving a restaurant experience and they just couldn't get it because restaurants were forced to shut down. So when we're talking about eight courses, that sounds overwhelming, but let's jump right into it. For people who are coming, let's, what do they start with when it sure. comes to eight courses? Um, we start off with an oyster. We're we're probably going to keep doing an oyster. Um, right now, it's straight up a raw oyster garnished with a mignonette emulsion and cilantro oil. Okay. In the future, we're going to get more creative with the oyster presentation. Okay. Fried oysters, preserved oysters. What else? What else is um, coming up on the menu? After that, you have, um, sorry, a hamachi uh, sashimi okay. with the pineapple vierge sauce. Um, third, we have this course, which is a chicken liver mousse. Okay. Traditional French chicken liver mousse with a lychee and cassis reduction plated with a burnt spring onion baguette and uh, radish kimchi. Okay, and you said this is kind of like a French-Asian fusion, right? Correct. And so how do we get from there to here? After a few more savory courses, we land on the last savory course, which is a char siu fried pork belly glazed with a char siu oh. uh, and a tart cherry bao. This dish is called cherry cheeks. This dish is called a tale of two funks. Oh my God, this looks and smells um, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously um, this is dessert. What's the dessert for us? The dessert is a matcha white chocolate mousse. Um, underneath is a shortbread. And then around is a uh, Texas peach compote with thyme and some lemon balm, white nectarine sorbet. Oh my goodness. I, I know you guys can't smell through the TV, <laughs> but I really wish you could. When you can, jump online and make reservations for Reiki Na. It is going to be absolutely a dining experience. Chef, thank you so much for your time, and thank we you. love what you do. We're really looking forward to it. Thank the best you so of much. Luck. All right, too. you guys. Back to you in Studio B, Derek and Courtney. Definitely a must visit here. <laughs> All right, Lauren, thanks. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including a Grammy Award-winning band who's coming to Sugarland. But first, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. Hey, Kevin. Derek and Courtney, tonight on ET, Britney Spears gets a victory in court. What it could mean to her father. Plus, Dwayne The Rock Johnson gives us an exclusive taste of his newest passion. And we're in the Bahamas with Bell Me Young. You don't want to miss it. We're having a great time. That's tonight at 630 right here on KPRC2. Now, sit tight. Houston Life will be right back. Tomorrow in Houston Life, rock band Three Doors Down is celebrating their 20th anniversary of their debut album by hitting the road, and their lead singer, Brad Arnold, is sharing all the details on their stop 
here in Houston. That is so exciting. Love Three Doors Down. Do We're also spinning to win with our Houston Life Prize Wheel. It is your chance to win some pretty cool prizes, even $1,000, Courtney. All you have to do is become a KPRC2 insider for your chance to play. You can sign up online at clicktohouston.com slash insider. What are you waiting for? Sign up. All right, it's time to get a last look at what you had to say about our question of the day when we asked, what's an unwritten rule you refuse to follow? And Monet writes in, standing facing the door in an elevator. I like facing everyone. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> that's, that's you get in and turn around. What's up, everybody? That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to do that next time. Susan writes in, she doesn't uh, rinse her rice. Nobody has ever noticed. No one will ever I don't notice. Know if we rinse our rice. I don't think so. It depends on the type of rice, though. If it's basmati, like a long grain versus a white rice or a brown rice. There's a lot of rice happening. A lot of in rice, your house. different types, right? Why do you rinse it to rinse the starch off? Why are you asking me? I don't do. I don't do it. <laughs> You don't have rice in your house? We do, but I don't rinse it, so I don't know why you would. Okay, we need to do a rice segment, but that does it for us today at Houston Life. No time for that today. You guys, I'm still hung up on this elevator etiquette. I love it. I'm going to do it next time. Turning Seriously. around and facing people, Being that's like, funny. Hi. Hi guys, where are you going? That there's nothing more awkward than riding in an elevator. <gasps> oh, I know. Just in general. It's like 15 seconds, you're like, I don't know what to do. Are you silent? Do you say hello? Yeah, you I always say hello. Do you not? It's yeah. a great way to get to know people. Embrace it. <laughs>